Hi everyone, it's Dawn, and today another cruise ship had its itinerary cancelled, but this time it wasn't because of the hurricane, it was because 300 people got sick on board and the doctors were just overwhelmed. So let's talk about what happened right after this. The luxury line cruise ship Ada Prima was setting sail from Spain on September 22nd for a Mediterranean cruise when shortly into the voyage 300 passengers became violently ill with vomiting and diarrhea and uh, it quickly was spreading immediately the infected Passengers were asked to remain in their rooms and quarantined. They were fed, fed uh, bread and water so it doesn't increase the sickness in your stomach and it was easier stuff to digest. Um, and while the other passengers were uh, increased awareness and asked to you know, wash their hands more often and avoid some th certain areas. Uh, and But the, the cruise ship medical staff just became overwhelmed with the amount of people and they actually turned the crews around and headed back to the the port they left from and uh, had to get everybody off the ship. A lot of the passengers who were infected were sent to a farm area just outside, a kind of holding area to await their flights home uh, where there was still some medical staff uh, at the site but a lot of people just didn't wait. They just booked their first flight out and headed for home. So I hope we didn't infect more people on airplanes and things like that. It's just, uh, you can't hold people prisoners once they're on land. So uh, yeah, it uh, it's a, it could have been a, it could turn into a much more outbreak of an area. And the funny thing is that no one's really talking norovirus, which is usually what you will hear on a cruise ship where people come down with a bug and a virus. and but it seems to, the, to be it might have been more like food poisoning on this ship, which is an entirely different situation. So we've yet to hear from the cruise line uh, as far as what's going to happen with these passengers, as far as uh, refunds or do they get money back or what happened? What exactly happened on the ship? Was it food poisoning? Was it the norovirus spreading out and uh, infecting people? Another thing, passengers were complaining on board that it took up to five hours for the doctor to come and see them and once they saw them, they basically spent three, four minutes with them and then left. Uh, and they were really upset with this. But you got to understand, let's, let's, let's step back for a minute. There's 300 passengers that have come down with a virus all at the same time, so chances are it's the exact same virus. When the doctors come to visit you, they are just making sure that your symptoms are the same symptoms everybody else has and you're not coming, you don't have something else. Once they confirm that, they know what you have and they're already in the middle of treating it with everybody on board. So it, they don't have to spend hours with you to diagnose things when it's a big mass amount of people coming down with the same thing all at the same time. Another thing is being upset that it took five hours. Well, there was 300 passengers and what, two doctors on board? So they have to get to everybody on every cabin and every ship in the ship. It's, a, it's not a, a five minute operation. You don't have priority over the person who's sick beside you and the, the other person on the other side that's sick. They have to come to you into your cabin and get to see you. So. Uh, yeah, I think being upset about that part of it is um, a little bit uncalled for. I know you probably weren't feeling well at the time and that might have added to your, uh, your mood or your temper, but let's be honest, two doctors to get out to 300 passengers within five hours is, a, you know, is actually not that bad of a time. I've waited three and a half hours for a doctor's appointment at a walk-in clinic. So uh, I don't think that's really something to complain about. Uh, I can't wait to find out, was this food poisoning? Because that will really affect the ship's cleanliness rating when the inspectors come on board. 
as well as or was this norovirus? Uh, as you all know, uh, Ada is part of the Carnival Corp, uh, as Carnival owns a ton of different lines and a ton of different ships, being the largest in the world. And uh, you can bet that they're going to be looking into this exactly what happened, uh, because a month earlier, about 70 passengers on an Ada sister ship of the, of the Prima came down with sickness as well. So. If this is an ongoing situation or is it a supplier that food's not getting checked properly, you can bet Carnival will be looking into what's going on because uh, although this is happening in the Med and in Europe, uh, it's still reaching United States uh, news and, and, and people will judge your cruise line by you know, you know, once in a while something breaking out, you can't help. But if this is food poisoning on two consecutive months on two of your ships in the same area, then we have to start asking questions, what's going on? So I really hope this was just a norovirus outbreak and not uh, something to do with food poisoning because as far as I'm concerned, food is the one thing on a cruise that I want to make sure they get right. Uh, it should be prepared, it should be properly cooked, it should be handled properly, it should be stored properly, and no mixing of trays. If you, you haven't seen my video yet, but I did a backstage tour during a busy time on the Princess, or the Royal Princess on my transatlantic cruise, and I got to see them actually in operation. So it wasn't like it was all cleaned and spiffy for us while we got a walk through. They were in the middle of dinner service. And I saw fish being cooked in one area, chicken being cooked in another area, steak being cooked in another, vegetables were cooked in another. It was all separated, so there was no cross-contamination. Everybody had the gloves on, everybody had the hairnets on. It was a very clean operation and I felt very secure knowing that my food was handled this way. And uh, normally most cruise ships operate that way because they lose a ton of points when they're expe uh, under inspections and if they, the main places they look is storage and kitchens when the inspectors come on board and so they can lose a ton of points there and actually be, be told they're not allowed to sail if they fail and come under too much points until things are fixed. So I really hope again norovirus, I feel sorry for these passengers. Uh, I know you want it to leave quickly in his first flight out, but you might have contaminated some other people when you did this, and I don't know if that was really the right move to do uh, under the circumstances. Well, tell, you, tell me what you think. Do you think five hours was too long to wait for a doctor considering the amount of people that were being infected? Uh, how does this make you feel about Ada Cruise Line uh, after two back-to-back -back months of having 70 and now 300 people come down sick on your ships? Uh, it kind of makes me uh, wonder because I was looking forward to perhaps trying one, you know, their brand new ship they just launched. It's a huge ship and uh, I was thinking on booking from that and now I'm having second thoughts. So let me know what you think down below. I hope you liked this video and update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, please hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.